Hi guys. Uh, so in the step one, we imported the file from Figma to Framer. Uh, in the second step, what we did was we connected screen one. If you click on screen one, you go to screen two and you can type anything you want. And this is the input we learned in uh, episode two. And today what we're going to do is we are going to introduce a new component called as button and we are going to link it from uh, we're basically going to click uh, from screen two to screen three. Uh, so screen two, if you click on screen two and we are going to insert a button component, click on this and then you can drag and drop it over here. This is my button and here I got it inside the frame. This is how it looks, which is completely different to my styling. Um, so if you come into the button component, there are a lot of things you can play with it. Uh, first, I'm going to change the text to get started. Uh, I'm going to hide the shadow. Uh, I'm going to have a custom font, which is the current font, which I'm using circular standard. Uh, I am going to remove the BG to maybe uh, white and then reduce it to really light. So it has like a nice green to it. Mm, keep the text color to be white increase the font size yes i want to increase the font size a teeny bit there you go uh, now in the button component there are actually if you hover on it there are two uh, there's a blue component coming in that is because uh, in that is because in the te uh, in the button component you have three states uh, three states where is the state okay if you find this state right over here, there are a couple of states of uh, what is the hover state like, what is the press state like and what is the disable state. So I don't want to do that. Uh, I have the hover state. So I first going to remove the background color. I'm going to keep it at, uh, in the hover state. It goes away. And so in I'm going to keep it in the hover state. It comes back. In the default state it is not present um, and in the press state it is it's a white color and I'm increasing the opacity to 40 so that is how it goes so if you press it that's how it looks nice bubbly interaction got it now you're pressing the button but nothing is happening because there is uh, no connection to the next screen for getting the connection to the next screen we are going to click on interactions right here there is something called as interaction on the top panel uh, if you see there's click and then you can click in a different interaction i'm just going to put in instant uh, so here it shows click choose you have to choose your screen i have to go to screen three i'm going to pick that it's and you can change your transition right from here itself can be magic motion uh, magic motion is the inbuilt frame of web uh, uh, transition i'm going to pick that and let's see what happens so if i click on it there you go you go to the next page uh, so we have completed the episode 3, next episode we are going to talk about scroll.